You want to try that again for the camera, JD? No. No, I do not. Hey everyone, welcome to my 2020 video compilation. We took so much footage in 2020 that I wanted to share the best of it with everybody. Sit back and enjoy a year of an isolated adventure in about 20 minutes. First up, Colorado. Go, go back, baby. Passenger. Watch my hands, watch my hands, buddy. Crank. Yep. Argentine and McClellan Mountain is my favorite group of trails in Colorado. I have a lot coming on this area just outside of Georgetown, Colorado in 2021. China Wall is a semi-famous trail in Colorado, but it's honestly not a favorite of mine, though some of the views are amazing. But I feel it's important to tell you while you watch this footage that all of the camera footage is level. Drummond Island was by far the biggest adventure of 2020 for us. Check out this video. This island, just a stone's throw away from the Canadian border, has over 40 miles of trails, much of it like what you're about to see here. Some of it pretty epic.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the video. This part of the video requires some explanation since not all of it was caught on film. I'm about to discover the importance of probing obstacles to find out how deep they are. No one was hurt before, during, or after this video, and the only casualties from this event were two tire deflators and some air pods that actually came back after they dried out. As you can see, this hole is deep enough to swallow the front end of the Jeep where I got high centered on the muddy ledge. This position left just the very tip of the winch control box out of the water and to give you an idea of the depth, the water was waist deep for me and super fun to swim in. an ordeal and I was glad to be done with it. Now back to the rest of the highlights from Drummond Island. These are the steps at Drummond Island. This obstacle is a feature on the Marblehead Trail which also happens to be a Jeep Badge of Honor trail that we managed to get credit for running. This beach you've been seeing is Shale Beach, and it's made up of hundreds of thousands of rounded pieces of broken shale that make clacking noises as the waves crash along the shore. Well, that's it for Drummond Island. Time to head south. This is the Turkey Bay OHV Park in Land Between the Lakes. These trails sit right on the border of Kentucky and Tennessee, and I was here for mapping, but these mud pits is where all the fun was at. Time to head back west for some scenery and some more rock climbs in Colorado.
let's check out some new stuff. In late October, there was a small meetup of Trails Off Road team members to do some video work. And after checking out this area, I can't wait to go back. The San Rafael Swell is a 75 mile long feature in Utah where thousands of years of flash floods have dug out some amazing trails in the rock. Covered very that, well. To be fair, <laughs> we we did something that shouldn't have been doing. So. Mattucat Road, also known as Goose Creek Road, sits on land that was part of the 2002 Hayman Burn. The green you see here is all new growth as the forest tries to heal itself. You'll see some more fire damage in the video for Northfield Road and Orms Peak.
I'm going to chime in here again to remind you that the drone footage you see has a level camera. It's the Jeep and of course its owner that isn't level. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you sticking it out. Despite the pandemic and feeling like we've been in a bunker for most of 2020, it turned out that getting out and away from people was still the best thing for us to do with our time. Thanks for tuning into this video. I've got some fun stuff in the works for 2021 and beyond, so stay tuned.